Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Queen City Gaming. So today guys, we're looking at the new, what's this thing called? I just know it as the crawler. Um, the Mortret Caller, or Crawler, from the new uh, Osiok Bone Reapers. So guys, today we're doing a really, really cool conversion. So for this conversion guys, you're gonna need one belt crawler with an unglued catapult arm. You know, make sure it can still move. Everything else can be put together. I just have all my little guys on there. Um, I did a little conversion for the uh, the release mechanism for mine. A couple dice, two rubber bands. I chose the two from the new priming stick and your catapult Allen key. So guys, if you don't know what this is, this, let's see if you can see it, but it's Copyright Games Workshop 2019. This is a piece of sprue I cut off that was... Uh, rounded and had a little peg here with a number on it. I call this my uh, catapult allen key. So guys, you'll need something like this to help you a little bit or you can find a bigger rubber band to use. So guys, we're gonna convert this catapult to actually fire dice. It's gonna be super cool. So to start guys, make sure your catapult is not on its base. It makes it super easy to do this. And we're gonna start with one rubber band. Fold it in half so it's sticking through like that, and you're actually going to stick it through this end here, where that opening is. Take your trusty catapult allen key, and you're going to stick it down here and hook that rubber band, just like that. Alright, and we're going to take the other rubber band, stick it through the opening, alright, and we're going to hook it. So essentially, you have a rubber band going around this central area here, and it's hooked into your little Allen key. After that, guys, this is the tricky part. You're going to feed the other rubber band through this band. All right, this requires two hands, guys. Give me just a second to do this. So up. And there we go, up and through. So once you're done, guys, you'll have your two rubber bands kind of interlocked with each other. So on my thumb is the second rubber band, and then you can see the first one just like that. So our second rubber band, guys, is actually going to attach to the catapult itself. I'm going to take one loop, put it around this big bone as far back as I can, and take the other loop, whoop, there's a broken piece, and put it through that arm of the catapult. So guys, you may notice, you may notice, guys, that it's super cool. All right, and fun fact about this, it actually fires. So guys, we're gonna hold the base of our catapult here, load a dice up in the arm, and let it fly. Super cool, right? All right, one more, three, two, one, fire! All right, you guys, so playing around with this earlier today, I you can get about eight feet on the standard games workshop guy, dice, and it's a ton of fun. So guys, I hope you like this in conversion and I hope you enjoy it. Let's see some people out there try it. Quick caveat though, guys, I don't know how strong this piece is that you're putting most of the force into. So you need to be careful to make sure you're not breaking your model. Repeated use like this may cause damage to the catapult arm itself. But guys, this is Queen City Gaming showing you this fun little trick with your Aussie Arc uh, crawler. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Enjoy your hobby days out there and have a fantastic Sigmar Saturday, guys. Queen City Gaming, signing out.